Hello, this is Mike Lever from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to make a note card giver. We're actually going to do two types of note card giver. One is one that you click on to get a note card, and the other is a scanner. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scanner first. I made this course here for Kevin Corcoran, who's doing personality in psychology. You're going to right click and teleport to our uh, conversational room here, nice little fireplace in the background and here's a note card which scans your presence so let's click on that for a moment and go to edit and we'll click on note card and what I'm going to do is hit reset so you can actually get the note card and now we can see the note card has come up and we'll keep it there it is note card is coming so that's what I have in the note card itself so uh, there you have it. So basically when someone comes in the room, the note card scans your presence and if you're there, uh, it gives you a note card. Now it'll keep a list of who's, who has been given note cards. And so if you're in the list of a hundred or so, uh, it won't give you the note card again until it's reached that hundred person. So that's good for a room where you have a, a small room where people are coming and going. However, for a large area like we have, let me get off and edit here. In below, where we have a large area, let's teleport back home. I didn't want the scanner because I was afraid that you might miss it. You're in such a large area here, you might walk past it, get a note card, and not know why you got it. And so I want you to be basically attracted to something that's rotating. And when you click on that rotating object, then you're giving a note card. So basically, same type of coding will be involved in both, but one's basically a click on the other is a scanner. So let's get to that right now. Now I've said this before in my other tutorials, but let me say it again. You don't have to be a coder to write great script in Second Life. And a person that has helped you out a lot is Jeff Heaton. And let me take you to his website real quick. It's uh, Heaton Research, www.heatonresearch.com. And he actually gives code away for free on his website. He's written two great books. Let's go to this bookstore real quick. Introduction to Linden Scripting Language for Second Life and Scripting Recipes for Second Life. I suggest you get both of them. I've read both of them. They're great books. Uh, scripting Recipes for Second Life is where I get this following code. So just go to Jeff's Downloads. Go to Scripting Recipes. Go ahead and download that and unzip that onto your desktop. I've already done that. So let's go ahead and bring that up. And this particular script, the note card giver, is in chapter 6. So if we go back, you can see Jeff has organized his code in terms of chapters. Go to chapter 6. And here's a note card giver. You can open that up in Dreamweaver, or you can open that up in WordPad. Let's open it up in WordPad. Or Word. Let's open it up in Word. One moment. And now we have Jeff's code opened up in Word. We're just going, going to go ahead and cut and paste that code. Now, before we do that, I just want to say a few things about how the code is organized. What this code does, it scans to see if someone has come into the area. If someone has come into the area, the sensor picks that up and grabs their ID and throws it into a list. The max size of the list is 100, and it keeps it and it iterates through that list to see if you have been given a note card or not. If you had not been given a note card, it gives you one. If you have, it will not give you a note card again, so it doesn't become obnoxious. So each time you pass the uh, note card giver, you won't get a note card. Now what it does as well is throws off uh, 10 of the entries once you get to 100, so the next 10 people, if you come again, maybe you're 101, you will get a note card again. So it does keep a record of the first 100. If you don't like the 100 business, just change this to 20, for example, and then it'll keep a list of 20. And then the next uh, few will, uh, then after 20, it'll continue to take off 10. So the next 21st person, if you're the 21st person, you'll get a note card. So there you go. Uh, just a little bit of modification you can make this code. Go ahead and select it all. So let's select and copy this code. Right click copy and now let's go to Second Life. So I'm back in Second Life and so I want to find a vacant place to put my prim. 
so I can see if my scanner works. So let's build our scanner note card. Here's a nice place. And let's right click on the ground and hit edit. And I'm going to bring out a cube. And control shift, let's shrink it. There we go. We can put that on the wall as kind of a note card or image. And let's go ahead and go now to uh, contents and hit new script. And I'll rename this note card giver. Cool. And let's double click and open that up and paste Jeff's code in for this boring code. Control V will do that for me. And at this point, I can go ahead and save this. And we can see compiling is successful. Now, the note card giver will not work because you need to have a note card in this contents. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up inventory. Bring out our inventory. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create a note card. New note. And I'll call this scanner note card message. Okay. And save. And so I have something that says new note, and that still won't work because if you take a look at the code, let's go back and bring the code up. The note card string name, string note card, needs to be named welcome note card. So let's go in and change that name to welcome note card in an inventory. So we'll go ahead and rename. And we'll call this welcome note card. And if I try to run the program, it still won't work because I need to drag this welcome note card over into the contents. Let's drag it over and drop it. Okay, and now it is in my contents of my program and it will run. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and double click on that script again to bring it up. And we're going to reset this code and see if I do indeed get a note card. And there's my note card. Let's hit keep and see what we get. And it says scanner note card message. So great. This scanner uh, script is working. Let's go ahead and put a texture on it. So we'll uh, bring it a little closer so we can see it. And let's put a texture on it. Back to edit. Textures. And we'll put the Northern Kentucky University flame. And I want to go ahead and rotate that, so make sure you click on Select Texture, and then go ahead and rotate it. There you go. Pretty cool. And so now I have the Kentucky Flame Note Card Giver, as was shown in the uh, previous exercise. So let's modify this from a scanner to a touch note card giver.